always <coughs> the worst. The having to get up and pack and get ready to go. The only beauty of it is, is that you can just toss shit in your suitcase because you know you're washing it all when you get home. You can try to keep the dirty and the clean separate, but the smell. <laughs> I mean, not that we're smelly people, but really, you know as well as I do that you've got dirty socks, you got dirty underwear, you just got dirty stuff in there, and it just smells. I mean, we do the little bounty sheet in there that helps, but it's not that big a help. So I wanted to do a quick room tour. This is the comp room that we got at the Mirage. Um, like I said, in a, I think in an earlier clip, that'll probably be edited in here somehow. We went for the $20 trick, and unfortunately with the uh, big marathon in town, it was booked up. So it didn't work. It would have worked, but it didn't work. That's the first time I've never gotten an upgrade with a $20 trick. Just for the record, Michelle refuses to stand by when I do that because she's apparently embarrassed that I'm somehow trying to get free shit. <laughs> but it works. I, I've The worst they can do is say no. I mean, really, you're in Vegas. I, if My understanding is if they can't take care of you, that they will um, give you back the 20. I let the guy this time keep the 20 because he actually did bump us to a strip view. Apparently, we were in a, in a backside uh, suite or room. But he bumped us up to did try. It did get us into a strip view, which was fantastic. So, anyways, this is just the basic room at the Mirage. This is our first time staying here. We've always been New York, New York stairs, and we just wanted to come and experience what it's like to stay in the middle of the strip. It's nothing fancy, but it is a nice room. And comparing it to the New York, New York basic rooms, which I guess this is the basic room at the Mirage. This is a good-sized room. It feels updated. It feels clean. Uh, it does not feel run down. And honestly, as much as we love New York, New York, we don't necessarily love New York, New York for their rooms, but we love New York, New York for its atmosphere, for its food choices, because there's nowhere, no casino on the Strip has more food choices that aren't fast food, but that are still relatively inexpensive. I mean, pizza, hot dogs, burgers, it, it's all in there, and it's all, you know, there's no Subways, there's no McDonald's, there's no Burger Kings, no Panda Express, it's all good stuff. But their rooms, we generally, at New York, New York, we'll generally get, that's bad backlight, we will generally get, like, the marquee suite with the hot tub, because... Because it's worth it. It's worth it. Happy it really, holiday. it really is. Because the first time we ever came to Vegas together, we stayed at New York, New York, mm -hmm. and we had just rented a regular room, and I did the $20 trick, and got bumped up to the Marquee Suite, which is a very good size, like 1,100 square foot suite with a hot tub in it. So this view from the Marquee Suite at the New York, New York, this is a video that's like two years old, taken with my GoPro. Um, back when you could still smoke in the hotels, that was the last year you could still smoke in the rooms. Um, Michelle's gonna be mortified because the place is a mess, but this was obviously a day we were getting ready to leave. This is a big room. It was nice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, we enjoyed it. Uh, it's got the Bose stereo system built in, a big screen TV, little sitting area. Uh, just a ton of room, a hot tub. I'm telling you people, the hot tub is amazing after walking all day long. Go and get some bath bombs and you are set. So, quick view of the uh, Marquis with the New York, New York, just for reference. Well, that just ruined us because <laughs> we missed it this trip. It is so nice after being out walking the strip all day to be able to go and sit in a hot tub and relax. Plus, we're all grown-ups here. We know what happens when two naked adults get into the hot tub. I'm not gonna complain about that. And she didn't want me to say that, but we're all adults here. I mean, if your kids are watching our Vegas videos, you're gonna learn quickly. Yeah, these are at least, at least gonna be PG-13. <laughs> So here's the room. We, we enjoyed our stay. Uh, the Mirage was very nice. 
um, we'll be staying here again. Uh, we love the view. We love the location. Uh, the room is definitely much more updated than it is at New York, New York. It, it just it just feels it just feels a little bit nicer here. I mean, the one issue that I have, yes. you know, this I, I get it. You know, they're, they're, they've got to make their money, but we all know that stuff's ridiculously expensive. I mean, just don't. Don't don't do that. Leave us room to put our own stuff in there. You know they they say there's the it's a fifty dollar restocking fee to put it in there. I mean, to, if you if they find your own your stuff in there, it's fifty dollars. They'll charge you fifty bucks. Just give me room to put a water in there. But you know it is what it is. The hotels all do that. Um, New York, New York does it. No, no, New York, New York does it. The fridge in that room is empty when we get yep, here. Yep. 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 So we've enjoyed the views. There's going to be, you've probably seen by now, the, the views from the room. <laughs> this is something else that we really enjoyed about it, especially this time of year, because it gets nice. It's, it's just nice out. It's not hot. It's not just disgusting. You know, it's not super hot out. And at night it gets nice and cool. I love how much you can open this window. It doesn't seem like much, but when you've stayed at other hotels where you can't open it even a little bit. New York, New York, they've got these little slider deals down here that kind of let in a little bit of fresh air, but they don't really do anything. So having this open has just been super nice for us. And the view that we have here, I love it because it's just Vegas. I mean, you guys have all been down this way. Um, if you're watching this, unless you're one of the three random people that have happened upon our video. But again, you know, we love the table. We had plenty of storage space, counter space to put all of our stuff on. Plenty of drawers. We had the nice, you know, decent sized closet. Um, ironing board. One issue we had with the, the, Michelle forgot her hair dryer. So she had to have one brought up because the one was missing. Bathroom small. I mean, it's. It, it, I'm not gonna lie. The bathroom is small. And there is the toothpaste and visine. Found it. Um, but it, it it does what it's supposed to do. So that's it for the little room tour. We're off to a long day now. Yeah, we are about to have. Sorry about that. My camera works kind of shitty, so still. So we are about to have what's going to be a long day because we are catching the red eye out tonight. Our flight leaves at 11.45 tonight. So it is 11 o'clock? It is 10.23 in the oh, a.m. It is 10.23 in the morning. So we're just kind of going to hang around Mirage, go get another cup of coffee until they make us leave. <laughs> and then we're just going to go and, and walk around the strip, you know, until about... 8.30 or so, come back here, get our bags from the bell desk, jump on a lift and head for the airport so we can kill two hours there. And go home to where it's cold. And then go home to where it's cold because it's going to be like 28 degrees when we get home in the morning. Yuck. <laughs> but it's good because I want to move out west and she is slowly getting on board. So tomorrow morning when we arrive at the airport at 6 o'clock in the morning and step out and it's freezing cold, that's just another nail in the coffin for Cincinnati it because is. We're, we're, I'm, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to make a move. Um, we're not getting any younger, and I'd like to move out here before I retire and be able to make our life before it happens, before, uh, before I'm retired, and still young enough to go out and do things because mm -hmm. I want to get a dirt bike and toys and play in the desert. Boy. I know. Anyways, we'll be uh, doing some more videos later today. Bye, everybody. See ya. 146. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a dilemma. So, we came over here. Michelle needs to hit the ATM because she is out of cash. So, I, let's sit here and have a cigarette, drink our coffee, and I'll, 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 I'll give you 20, dollars, 20 of my dollars to play this game. She just won $114. Technically, that's my money, right? Are we all in agreement here? Right, it's okay. my money. I'm the okay. one who did it. Okay, let, let me let me clarify this. The guys all agree with me. The women are all on her side. That's her money now. So, it, it is what it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about tipping in Vegas. 
I'm sure most, a lot of you that are watching this right now are very aware. Tipping is a way of life in Las Vegas. Uh, before we come to Vegas, I usually go to the bank or wherever, and I'll change 40 bucks, 50 bucks into fives, just so I have a pocket full of fives to tip out. Um, Bellman, he gets five bucks. I mean, it's generally, you know, a dollar or two dollars a bag or whatever, but for me, it's just easier than trying to carry on a, fist, you know, a whole pocket full of ones or digging through everything. Just throw them a five dollar bill. I mean, you're in Las Vegas. If you're worried about two dollars, you shouldn't be here. Um, Tip your waitresses. Tip the waitresses. Uh, tip. I don't know where where'd you put the money for the. Right there with my little note. Oh, okay. <laughs> we always make sure that we tip housekeeping. I mean, these ladies are working hard. Um, usually, I'll tip a couple bucks a day. I, I am. I personally am a good tipper. So we've been here three nights. I, I left them. You know, they only actually only came in twice because. We forgot to take the Do Not Disturb sign off the door yesterday. Um, so actually, honestly, they've only cleaned once, but I'm still I'm still leaving them ten bucks. I mean, you know, we've got our trash and you know our leftover food and everything that's still in here. So just so, anyways, tipping in Vegas is important, and I've always felt like they they recognize, and you know, I've I've been. In the service industry before, I was a bartender for a couple of years. I've done, you know, wait, waited tables and stuff back in the day, and I, I know how it is. That's how these people make their money. I mean, and honestly, I know they're making a lot of money on tips in Vegas, but just remember, because especially the, the housekeeping, because it seems like a lot of people forget to tip housekeeping. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your your servers when you're getting your free drinks, quote unquote, free drinks at, at, on the casino floor, tip them. Tip them, you know, two bucks for a beer, three bucks, for, you know, per mixed drink, whatever. I mean, if, if they come and bring us two beers, I always throw them four or five bucks. You know, it depends on what I got in my pocket, but it's going to be a minimum of four dollars. Because, because they come back quicker. They come back quicker. I guarantee you, if you stiff that waitress, she's going to take the long way around to miss where <laughs> you're sitting at. It's, it's going to happen. You'd like to think it's not going to happen, but it will. Anyway, that's all I had to say on that right now. So, God, that Forrest Gump thing again. What's that? That's all I have to say about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are getting ready to check out. Uh, the bellman just came and uh, took our bags, which is what reminded me about doing this little tipping bit because I tipped them five bucks to take our, to take our bags down for us. It's $5, it, and it, it just creates goodwill, I feel like. Um... So that's it. There's going to be more videos later on. So, because we've got nothing else going on for the next 10 hours. I might go buy a new bag. Oh my God, we've got to go back to Michael Kors. We'll see.